Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be looking at the row execution interval in Batch Patch. And we'll just do a quick overview of how this works and what you might use it for. Go ahead and launch Batch Patch. Okay, we're actually not using the latest build, but that's okay right this second. Under Tools, Row Execution Interval, we can change this, the number of seconds that will pass in between each action for each row. So let's go ahead and load some hosts. And so the row execution interval, the way it works is, let's say I highlight computer one, another computer, another one, and another one. If I set the row execution interval to 15 seconds, then if I go ahead and right click on these rows and do a reboot or some other action what we'll see is the first row that I selected will get executed 15 seconds will pass then the second then 15 seconds then the third 15 seconds and the fourth so you can probably already uh, envision what this enables you to do but you could really get some advanced sequences going here if, for example, you have a SQL database and that database needs to be up while you're uh, doing your patches for a certain set of other machines, but once those machines go down, you want that SQL database to get patched and rebooted, and then afterward you want those other machines to come back up, you could use the row execution interval if you wanted to do that, and you could sequence it like machine number one, then machine number two, then machine number three, then your SQL database, and then machine number three gets woken up and machine number two gets woken up and machine number one gets woken up and so, so on and so forth. So let's just go ahead and do a quick example here. Row execution interval. I'll set it to 15 seconds. Click OK. And I'm just going to do a set of reboots here on these four computers. Again, in the order that I just selected them, we'll go ahead and initiate a reboot. and what we'll see is first the first machine goes then the second then the third and the fourth with 15 seconds apart in this particular case we actually got an error that a system shutdown is in progress for the first machine again for the second one too uh, this can happen sometimes when you initiate a reboot with a force command um, sometimes when you initiate the reboot force the machine responds, or rather the machine starts going down before it sends a, uh, a, a reply that the, initiate, uh, the reboot was initiated. Um, and so what happened in this case was Batch Patch essentially tried to reboot the machine twice in a row very quickly. The first one worked but didn't send a return code and then the second one uh, said sorry, uh, system shutdown is already in progress. In either case, it's it's a benign error that we will see occasionally, but it's not anything to worry about. So here we've seen now all four machines have rebooted 15 seconds apart from one another, and they've come back online. So that's the row execution interval. You could use that in conjunction with the job queue, which uh, check out the other video on the job queue uh, to see how you can really string together some advanced sequences for patch and boot cycles. That's it. Thanks for joining me.